Okay, what is the most common feedback received from a client after a candidate's being interviewed? They talk too much. So what I've realized that this means is often we tend to fill silence by over-speaking. We also aren't good listeners and we listen to reply rather than to understand. Okay. What doesn't help us though in an interview is the interviewer asking us open-ended questions. So for example, in a common one, tell me about yourself. So it's almost like, where do you start? But always peel it back to the role, the business, your skills, what you can bring. What is unique about you that you can bring to the role? While it's tempting, to tell them about our hobbies, how we were the best netball player back at school, we've got a 69 Shelby in the garage, we're doing up one day, um, keep it back to business. No one wants to know the full life story unless you're asked. So there's so many different question techniques out there and some of them it's almost like a test, it's almost trying to trap us or trick us, um, but it I, my best advice to everyone in an interview situation is to mirror the interviewer. So if they're, standing, if they're sitting there with a book and of questions and asking you quite tick box answers, be direct back. If they're wanting more examples or elaborate on them, so think of some situational examples of your skills or what you've bought or your success. So the smart ones... Um, don't give away too much all at once. That's what I've learned. So it's like a date. Keep them intrigued and don't give it all away at once. Say, for ex uh, here's an example. Say at the end of the interview, the interviewer says, so what success have you brought to the role? You can then turn around and say, within six months of service, I started from, from zero clients, bought on 25. They're now the largest spending clientele in, in the northern region. Um, I've also stretched to bring on 25 key accounts um, and I'm the top salesperson. So see how that's so so punk powerful and factual and boom, you know, you take people by surprise. Um, so keep them intrigued. Let them find out about that Shelby project when you start on day one and you put those photos up on your brand new desk.